Hey Com 250, welcome to week seven. This week, our focus question, why do people prefer different kinds of music, movies, and TV shows? This week, we're going to examine why people like different types of media because of differences in aesthetic judgment and taste. We'll look at how novelty, familiarity, and repetition affect people's liking of media content. We'll discover how media genres, codes, and conventions help people comprehend and interpret media content. And we'll appreciate how recommendation engines structure people's choices of movies and TV shows. And finally, we'll reflect on how features of the everyday media environment shape our choices, our life, and our behavior. This week, you can see that we're kind of entering a new um, phase of our program. The uh, course started out with a couple of weeks on understanding media. We've just moved through uh, a unit called genres and forms of media, where we tackled news and public relations and narrative. And now for the next three weeks, we're focusing on issues of values, looking at why people make the media choices they make. For a lot of reasons, this topic is one of my favorite uh, topics because it always creates a big aha as people um, begin to reflect more deeply on their own media choices. So you'll start by reading chapter seven. This chapter was so much fun to write because um, Marshall McLuhan is my favorite uh, grandfather and he's focused on this book. We'll take a good look inside the New York Times this week um, and we'll, we'll try to pay attention to the reviews section. So what I'd like you to do is Explore one of the five sections of the New York Times, browse around and see what's there. Each of these review pages has a whole, whole lot of really interesting uh, stuff. Stuff that's not in the, stuff that's not in the, um, in the newspaper, um, but it's really, really cool. Of course, you'll see the movie reviews section, but there's also interviews, oral history, what to watch. One of my favorite uh, sections of the New York Times is called Anatomy of a Scene. And Anatomy of a Scene is where videos, where directors take one scene from a movie and comment on it. Then you'll get to learn about the grandfather of media literacy, Marshall McLuhan. Start by watching uh, a brief video, then take a closer look and try applying Marshall McLuhan's concepts to online video. Of course, McLuhan never got to meet the internet um, because he died long before the internet was established as a dominant medium in our culture. But lots of people since McLuhan have used his ideas to understand new media, including YouTube. So. Um, take a look at this work um, from Evan Pushak and um, make a comment. Make a comment uh, to reflect on his, it's kind of a dense, complicated argument. I think you'll really enjoy uh, digging into it. And next, I'd like you to uh, research some of the new forms and genres of media that are now being explored by scholars. I want you to choose one of these two academic articles. One is really cool. It's about uh, research on Twitch users, essentially. Uh, and the other one is looking at Instagram users. So you choose one and then you're going to use Cami for Chrome. Cami for Chrome is really a cool 
um, system because it allows us to collaboratively annotate. So welcome to Cami for Chrome. I'll make it a little smaller so you can see it here. We're basically looking at a PDF copy of an article and we're going to use the three reading practices to make sense of this article. So as you use the three reading practices to make sense of this article, you can use the tools of Cami over here in the right, like a comment to make a comment, or you can also use the highlight tool. Okay, so in the final part of this week's uh, work is the create to learn phase. Um, I'd like you to reflect on your own media tastes and preferences after you've completed this unit um, by doing one of the three activities. Create a detailed timeline of your favorite media over your lifetime, or perhaps you'll keep track of all the music and games you play or listen to in one single day, or perhaps you'll make a list of your 10 favorite books, games, movies, or music, and describe each one. And then use that data set to make some patterns. Then I'd like you to review and apply the concepts from this week's chapter seven. Be sure to use at least one of them in your Flipgrid oral presentation. This time I'd like you to think about your Flipgrid inquiry as a little bit more of a serious oral presentation in your uh, Flipgrid, you'll have two minutes to explain which activity you, you, you chose, what you discovered about your taste preferences, and which concept from the reading applies best to your reflection. You'll um, go to the Flipgrid to complete that activity, then you'll view and respond to one of your team members, and to get, uh, the, because this Flipgrid is going to be get graded, plan out your oral presentation so that it has an attention getting beginning, a meaty middle, and an elegant end. We'll use our usual team structure to respond to each other. And don't forget that leap two is coming up. Leap two is a really cool activity that involves you working collaboratively and with a partner right? So are there any partners uh, uh, emerging yet? Yes, there are. Let's see. There's the names and addresses of everybody. And look at the partners already established. Nicole and Anna, Sammy and Dana, Emma and Liz. They haven't figured out their topic yet, but they've established their partnership. That is awesome. So if you have any questions about Leap 2, I'm available to, uh, to uh, answer your questions. You know that coming up this week is the final, uh, is the midterm exam. There it is, the midterm exam will open up. It is opening on March 19th and it's due on March 21st. So. So now I have to tell you, I've really been enjoying uh, the creative work that you've been doing in COM 250. Here's your narrative analysis projects as I am noticing them here Sunday morning. Um, you've identified films like uh, the You Netflix series, Friends, The 100, Jurassic Park, Orange is the New Black, Star Wars, Clueless, The Conjuring. Uh, some cool anime, uh, Marvel Vision, the Avengers. It's really been great to see the strong and impressive creative work that you're doing in this class. So have fun learning this week, COM250. You know how to reach me if you have any questions. Have fun this week.